Hello. Uh, we have head coach of the Sigma Lions, Ivan van der Red, and CEO of Lion Trophy Company, Red Australia. You can start your questions. Um, maybe before you start questions, uh, we had a late stage heard that the game has been cancelled. Uh, we apologise for the inconvenience. Uh, it's half an hour ago the, the game was cancelled due to uh, non-travelling from the Cheetos at the moment. They feel it's not safe to travel and uh, so the game has been cancelled. Both games, the women's game as well as the Cheetos women's game as well as the Cheetos versus the Lions okay. Curry Cup game. Hi, Rudolf. Sorry, if I may just ask there, do you feel that this Curry Cup has actually been a bit more of a interruption than anything else with all these games being called off to make way for teams to play against the British and Irish lines, etc.? And it might be a better course of action just to postpone everything for a week or two just to settle down. Well, we are, we are obviously in difficult times and uh, it's not decisions that's been made lightly. So uh, obviously we want to play and, and fulfill our obligations. We were willing to travel to to Bloom to, to play the fixture there. Uh, the problem is at the moment is there's unsure and uncertainty with certain teams and areas, but uh, we're quite safe at the moment at Emirates Airline Park. We're training our intelligence and uh, we're fortunate to have a partner like uh, Fidelity on board and I can say without any interruption all our players and coaching and staff have been training and been at work you know so it is, it is difficult times and I would say that you know, SA Rugby has got to make a decision on that unfortunately not for us as participants to actually make that decision. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, sorry, Monique. Uh, then one must ask ourselves the question, if you were willing to travel to uh, uh, um, Bloemfontein to play this fixture, is it still fair that the points get shared? Well, again, uh, that's a decision for, for SA Rugby. We tried to, uh, as yesterday's press release, we've been working in consultation with SA Rugby. We were quite aware of the game between us and the Sharks because of the British and Irish lines. There was consultation with that. And we were happy to see that yesterday, I mean, SA played quite well against the British and Irish lines. So we're very glad that, that tour, the tour is going on. We obviously, um, disappointed that we cannot because we want to fulfill our fixtures uh, the players obviously want to play and uh, our sponsors our, our own sponsors also want to see us play the sigma lions need to play rugby all right so as it has it been um are you sure that you will be sharing the points has that been decided yet it's not been decided, Marizan. Uh, we will get that from the tournament director, Yuri, Yuri Ru, and SA Rugby is going to make that decision. But uh, the other decisions that were made were discussed, and we were we were comfortable with those decisions that were made in that yesterday's press conference. Cash, as a coach and part of you know the playing team, if you want to put it like that, it must be incredibly frustrating for you guys. Your game last week was called off. Uh, literally, the last time you played was against the British and Irish Lions. How do you keep the team morale up in these difficult times? Thanks, Morgan. Um, obviously, obviously, it is it is frustrating. Um, keeping in, in mind bigger picture, there's a lot of um, other things happening in the in the country as well. Um, so our obligation as a team is to. Is to keep on keep on staying strong, keep on being example for for people that's really struggling out there. Um, and like Rudolf said, that the best way to do it is to to physically play. 
Um, so if you if you don't play, I mean, I'll I'll be lying if I say it's it's not frustrating, and you know, I haven't even we haven't even told the team yet. Um, so obviously, there's going to be a lot of disappoint disappointed guys in there, but um, hopefully, hopefully, all of this will will pass soon, and um, hopefully, next week Wednesday, next week Wednesday, we'll we'll get our opportunity. Um, Cash, were, were there any players who were unwilling to come to training this week, or any or any of the of the employees, or did you all feel uh, safe enough that you know the riots wouldn't reach you? Marazon, we were quite comfortable. Like I said, as we're fortunate to have our intelligence, and, and we're quite close to Jeppy Police Station as well as with Fidelity. That's all over South Africa, and they they gave us the information that certain Places as no go areas, but it's quite quite safe to have traveled to Emirates Airline Park and safe for the staff and players at the moment. You know, we've been going all week, and like you said, we're all just excited to get get on going. You know, it's not just this. Well, obviously, COVID and there's a lot of challenges at the moment facing rugby and the industry. Cash, maybe a bit of a silver lining in terms of not having played for a while. A couple of players came back from injury. Can you just give an update on who's back? Who's anybody um, picked up any knocks or anything like that? Um, any update maybe on Johnny Lombard, how his recovery is coming and how the squad's shaping up? Yeah, thanks, Stephen. Um, like you say, silver lining. Um, Johnny has started non-contact contact training with the team. Um, looking good, looking healthy, looking fit, uh, already looking sharp. That's exciting. Uh, there's running niggles. Um, the two Tichukas um, have got knocks and, and a bit of bruising and bumps. Um, like I say, another week or four or five, six days will allow certain players to get, to get um, closer to, to being selected. Um, so that, that helps in, in, in that sense. Um, they won't like me saying this, but it gives a couple of players two, three additional days to really work hard on the conditioning as well. I mean, you can't mimic um, hopefully 60 or 80 minutes of rugby, but it is an opportunity for guys to, to get going off feet. Um, but no, the, the squad is healthy. Um, mentally, we're in, a, we're in a good place, um, ready to get going. We worked really hard this week um, to, to, to see if we can, can replicate the intensity that we felt we lacked um, that last 10 minutes against recent province. And um, I think the, the point of difference I guess the British and Irish Lions was the, the speed of what they set to play with. Um, so obviously that's things we really worked hard on this week. Um, had a couple of conditioning blocks in, in between sessions and all of that. So hopefully when, once we get going, um, hopefully we, we can get the benefit of it. Are there any more questions? Um, I, I just have one more. I, I don't want to make this and I know there's rugby politics and I don't want to drag you into that and you don't have to say anything if it makes you uncomfortable, but did they give you any reason why you're not, why you can't play the game in Bloemfontein this week? Uh, Marizan, uh, they already told their players, uh, obviously they had a decision made there and uh, they they told their players that they're not playing. So they said it's, it's uncomfortable for them now to go back on that decision. Uh, Obviously, we also uh, concerned because the final from the women's game is a, is a final that you can't just give points. You've got to play it. You know, our women have worked so hard in this final and uh, not just them, but uh, Kashi and his team, everybody's working hard to, 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 to give up and, and, and we were willing to I mean, every, everything, we're not wanting to risk our players' safety and, and health. Uh, we, we, uh, we're fortunate that we all tested clean on COVID this, this, month, this week. But we were really excited and willing to play the game. So, uh, for us, it's, uh, it's not rugby politics. I think that if there's a possibility to play, even if there's a neutral pitch somewhere, uh, being at Potsdam, any place, we will play. So the game hasn't been cancelled completely? Uh, it's been cancelled. It's been cancelled. The Cheetahs game, okay. Yeah. And and can the women's game be, uh, that will have to be rescheduled? It has to be rescheduled. You can't cancel a final, just cancel a final. Okay.
Thank you for the understanding. Sorry for this. Uh, like I said, we only got news now half an hour ago. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you, James. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.